All right, welcome Matt. Uh, thank you for coming along to the project kickoff. We're just going to cover off a, a few things today just to get the project underway. Um, we'll cover off the objectives and we'll dive into some of the work streams and the work that we have planned. Uh, but uh, first of all, I want to um, ask you uh, about the effectiveness of communication within your organization. So what channels do you find are actually helpful and useful for you uh, as you're trying to get your message across and make people aware of the change? Okay, so uh, most of the time you're using uh, email and using uh, an intranet page. Do you use, uh, when you talk about intranet pages, are you also thinking of uh, a, a landing page for your uh, project? Oh, you use a, a town hall, yeah, uh, with what, leadership? Okay, and they speak there. Do you have any demonstrations maybe from uh, people within the organization? Demos? from early adopters. Cool. All right, what are we actually looking at here? We're looking at an example of uh, using PowerPoint to take notes within a meeting. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? You've got the PowerPoint open, it's been used as a tool to keep people on track and to present things or to uh, to get the points across for the meeting, but I'm using a portion of the page where I'm taking the notes and it's appearing within the presentation. So it's all in one thing. And at the end of this, I can give the presentation and the notes to the people that have attended. Pretty good. How am I doing this? Well, let me break it down for you. Step one, uh, what I've done is I have created a presentation where I've uh, at least just put a text box, made sure that it's right sidebar uh, where I can take notes and it can appear across or beside the content that I'm presenting. Uh, I have also changed up the, let's have a look at the shape format. Go into here and have a look at text options. And then go into the text box itself. And I'm using the option shrink text on overflow. This means that I can continue to take notes, I can use indents, I can keep going, and the text is going to shrink and stay within the size of the box. So it's not really there for people to, uh, to see it as part of the presentation, but it is definitely there so that people within the presentation can see me take the notes. And what I've found when I take this approach when I'm using OneNote or other OneNote taking tools, note taking tools, or a, an interactive whiteboard, if I have the notes in front of people while I'm presenting, then they have the opportunity to correct me, clarify some points, and it keeps people engaged as they're continuing to participate in the, in the meeting. And so when I am presenting this uh, within a meeting, I have two screens, and I am presenting the content on one screen, and that is the screen that I share with the meeting. So if I go into share content, um, then that is what people are going to see. Let's go and choose screen three. And we know that with Teams when we do this, that it will also uh, minimize the, the team experience. Now I'm also using split screen within Windows 10. As I drag Microsoft Teams over to the left hand side of the screen, you can see the little echo and it allows me to keep that on uh, the split screen, the left hand side of the screen. The right hand side of the screen, I've done the same with PowerPoint. And within PowerPoint, I've set up the slideshow so that I am using a, uh, a, dish, a different monitor to present my content. Content presented over there, but my PowerPoint is still visible over on the meeting window where I can see people within the meeting. Uh, and if there were multiple people there, then I could see them in grid view, still keep eye contact with them, but I can also see my content uh, that I want to add notes to. And the great thing about this is, as I start to add notes, these notes are live. 
right? They are appearing in the presentation, shared with the people, uh, and it appears as if it's been typed as I am typing. Great, isn't it? So uh, that's a couple of t tips around how to use PowerPoint to take notes within a meeting. I've been finding it quite a useful experience uh, for some of my recent meetings, information gathering interviews. I can set up my content on one side and I can take my notes on the other side and um, we can take those notes together. Uh, I've even used this in the workshop where I have brought people in directly into slides. Uh, if we take a quick look at what that might be, uh, we can right click on the slide and we can copy a link to that slide and send them through so that that's their slide to add their content to it. And that's a way of getting an interaction within the meeting. We'll take a deeper look at that in another video. But that's, that's it, how to use PowerPoint uh, to take notes within the meeting. Uh, done, you know where to find me and you know what to do if you want more. See you again soon, bye for now.